Welcome back to Dank Tales, everybody. I am Alex, also known as Solanus Dracon. We've just finished up the Himalayas. Now it's time for really the only place that's left. We're going to the moon! Yes, we do. It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> The green flipping trip of longevity. And there's Gyro Gear Loose and Fenton McQuack. Gosh, Mr. McDuck! Mm, I've never been to the moon before! <laughs> well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's oxy-chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen-flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That, Gyro, is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And did it take a feather brain like you to believe her? Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look! Here's someone who can give us directions! Hello? Ah! Mr. McDuck! <laughs> Oh, no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the gizmo duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, so oxygen taffy, huh? Let's just take a moment to enjoy the music. like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Just gonna enjoy the music here. So let's see if there's any MacGuffins we have to get. Looks like there's one that's up. Bagpipes. A piece of gizmo duck suit. Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. So we have to find the way to open the door. Well, I think it's time to explore for right now. This stage is cool. I've always enjoyed it. Funny that we can pogo bounce on those rocks there. Not those rocks, those spikes. I think going down would not provide us with anything. Yeah, just dumps us out of the ass of the ship. Moon ducks going straight down the crater. Okay, so there was nothing to the right. I'm sorry, there was nothing to the left. See what's to the right now. Ah. What's down here? Yeah, we have time enough to go to the right later. I'm not worried about these guys. All right, I guess it's just onward and upward. God, these moon men, they're so... 
Like, I don't even want to fucking be here. And I'm pretty sure I should be able to find another life boost around here somewhere. There'll be a semi-obvious place to find it. Can we pull that lever? No? Fenton, get down from there. And stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones. Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius! Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning, damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry, I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button too. I'll get us out of this. Okay, something they added. A little bit of a swimming level. So let me just go get the third switch. Gravity system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit myself. Oh, Scrooge, you're so abusive verbally to everybody that you know. Okay, that seems simple enough. Uh, going down doesn't appear too, too interesting. Oh, now the guys are here. Hello. Oh. But I want to play. Oh, punching me now? Alright, so anyhow, yeah, pretty sure. I guess we do have to go down, but let's let's check out what's up here first. There's gotta be something in this area. You guys suck. Something tells me, yep. Alright, that's cool. Anything else to the left here? Nope. So this was not one of those super secret secret places. It was just a regular old secret secret place. Exploration Station, baby. Now that looked for all the world like it would have been a spot to climb through. Squid Face McGee. Up and up and up. It's a tall ass ship. Got a cake. There's a piece of Gizmo Duck's suit. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Oh, now you explain Only two that. more parts to find, and we can break into that moon bolt. Hyperspace pocket. Great. That's, that's our uh, little infinity door, is it? Doesn't look like there's any way up, so back down. I dropped on that guy from a long ass way. Yippee! At least Scrooge is having fun. Why are we even on the moon but for one capitalist's vanity? Up you go. 
Oh, hello. And what do you bet? Stuff in between here? Yep, thought so. Alright, nothing up there. Let's just climb the dang chain rope. It does not look like there is anything to the left of this wall. Got a few gems, though. Pounce, pounce. It's nice that it counted. Fire one, two, three. Yeah. A little bit of continuity in the game there. Why did I even go up there? Nothing to the left here either. We're running out of places to find secret shit. Seriously, there, there's, there's supposed to be more shit. Maybe it's up here. Aha! A somewhat hidden little vault there. Beakley! Why are you here, Mrs. Beakley? I wanted to see what the vacuum of space would do to my pie crust, Mr. McDuck. You're always as good as you want, my dear. Mrs. Beakley, you're the queen of non sequitur. There's absolutely nothing that you won't show up for. Seriously, I do not remember her being so oblivious in the show. Am I misremembering something? I guess she's just, you know, Mrs. Beakley. She is a force of nature. The vacuum of space has nothing on her. Alright, yeah, so this is where this is where the, the last thing is. And if there's going to be a secret in this stage, it's gonna be back here. And I guess there's not going to be a secret in this stage. I suppose seven hearts is enough. Alright, it's a bouncy puzzle. Woo, that almost got hairy. Gizmo Duck's wheel! I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? You now just one more path to find and I can get off this flying monstrosity. Oh, Scrooge, voicing everybody's wonder. How come unicycle indeed? We love Mr. McDuck. Alright, now it's just a trip back down through the ship. And we just angle to the left. If there is another heart container in this stage, I have missed it. Either I have missed it or is not in this direction. It's not inside the ship. Go back down. And the helmet. Let me in. It's Gizmo Duck's helmet! Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Oh, I hope it's not too late. So, Scrooge having a rare moment of perhaps remorse for being mean to Fenton. That goes away. Head back to the other ducks. You think you're gonna catch up with me. Damn it, squiddly diddly. Ugh. That hitbox, though. We're in luck. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault! Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh, I think I left my favorite $2 bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. 
But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway, when Gizmoduck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Blathering blather skite. Fenton? Gizmo duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Jesus. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. Fucking two million dollar bill. Leave it to Scrooge to have that. And yeah, you're actually escorted by Gizmo Duck. You will kill everything. <laughs> uh, it just becomes a joke stage. Ooh. Knock some shit into them. You'd think that the rockets have some splash damage. I still get hit. Perhaps I should just take it slowly and let Gizmo Duck handle this. I have got to find some ice cream cones or a cake or something. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmo Duck. No? Fucking Beagle Boys. Ah, Flint Hat Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! <laughs> oh, Glomgold. You just get into shit, don't you? All right, last chance for there to be a secret item somewhere in this moon stage. They just got all the Beagle Boys up in this mess. In the moon vault. Yep, thought so. They usually don't position those there unless there's going to be a treasure chest. I could surely use some regeneration here. Ow. Because I am completely and totally buggered out of life. We're still going down. And no ice cream cones or cakes yet, either. There's an ice cream cone. Every little bit helps. Aha! I knew it! Eight heart pieces total. I am ready for the final fight in this stage. have to have been near the end there. This is cool. Okay. 
So I think we all know what kind of boss we're facing here. Let that be me. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott. I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. Yikes. Is there going to be some kind of a gimmick to this fight? Ooh. He's going green. Oh. Whoop shit. Okay, so when he drops out from underneath, or when he drops out from the top there, is when he's vulnerable. When he stops that green shit. God damn. Fast fucker. I think it's safer just to stay in the air here. We might die to this guy. Oh, shit. Two hit points left. Ah, I'm dead in one hit. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. Alright, so at least we don't have to go through a bunch of bullshit to get back here. They give you your lives right here. I think one of the safest places to stay is right about there. than he looks, ladies and gentlemen. Although not all that difficult, really. You coming down again, buddy? Boom, there you go. Oh, shit. Just let him do his thing. Scrooge gives no fucks. Oh, shit. Woo! That was close. I don't think he's got a whole lot left in him, though. Another round or two, surely. Boom, done, end of story. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat, nothing's gonna keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's gonna make me. <laughs> Just get the cheese. And that was the moon. So let's see what our spoils are. Sixteen small gems, twenty-three large gems, fourteen rubies. We got the green cheese for a million. Ninety-six thousand two hundred modifier. Our total is twenty-three million three hundred sixty-eight thousand six hundred. Nice. We did it, boys! All five treasures are mine. <laughs> uh, boys. <gasps> Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Flintheart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough, but these treasures will soon change that. 
Oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, MacDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, I. You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> Flint Heart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> Magic or dispel? Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm. Duckworth, Mrs. Beagley, call the Pentagon. They sell me stock and bonds. Not so fast, fools. Like a Rudy, Uncle Scrooge, I can't move. Me neither. Now I know how a statue feels. Eh. <laughs> Greedy old fools. These treasures are far more valuable than money. And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake Von Bloodstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spells to summon him. Bah, what rubbish. You will see. With power of Dracula Duck under my command, I will rule the world. Unless, uh, you'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Dime is much gentler way to conquer world. Will save me a great deal of trouble. Also, less risk of accidental Dracula bite. The first dime I ever made? Never. Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dime quickly enough after that. Hey, Dimses are hostages. Find your own. Quiet, piggle boys. <laughs> now I take leave. Bring number one dime to my home on Mount Vesuvius in 24 hours, or little nephews will become Snackula for Dracula. Yeah! <laughs> oh dear, sometimes I still get carried away. That lousy, no good so and so. I stole those treasures, fair and square. This is no time for bellyaching, Glomgold. I've got to save those boys. Pah, forget it. That she-devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Ah, oh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. Ha! <laughs> Without your dime. I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled up old has been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, MacDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability, and I'm gonna be the richer for it. Oh, go soak your head. So they're just gonna auto-eject me into the next stage, are they? Not, not even a chance? Now remember our deal, Flinty. Help me rescue the lads, and the treasure is yours. You keep up your end, and I'll keep up mine. No, I don't think so. This is for another episode. We just saved, so everything should be fine. I want to thank you all for watching. Once again, my name is Alex, also known as Solomon Stracone, and this has been Dank Tales. Thank you very much, and goodbye.